Is it hard to make a movie? It is. is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I could imagine so, because sometimes you know, I mean, these movies nowadays, it's just like, I mean, as a director, are you do you like talk to somebody else and be like, I want to do this, but I don't know how we can do that. Always, always. I'm, I'm I also I think I'm always like. It goes back to actually like working at the VMX magazine or Skate magazine or going to talk to Grant. You're, it's all, I, I love talking to people okay. about stuff right. and like talking figuring to friends out. and figuring it out. Mm-hmm. I don't know I, I, if you're the same way. It's like yeah. that's how I figure yeah. it out. Well, yeah. no, I mean like how can like I want to do this effect and I want this to bleed and blah 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 blah. Yeah. Like how do you like as a director? Like, with, with, like on where the wild things are. Yeah. We, we, like that was really complicated and I kind of wrote it. With I wrote, I, we wrote it. Dave Eggers and I wrote it together. But as we were writing it, I sort of wanted to be naive of how we were actually going to pull this off. How oh. we were going to have these creatures do all these things. Right. And and then, then once I got through uh, done writing, we was hearing when in pre-production, like, okay, now how are we actually going to do this with this? You know, and I wanted it to be all in locations and all with the real creatures, yeah. not no CG. But uh, we were borrowing offices from David Fincher, who's like, a, he, he was that, he, I've known forever and he's the, the most generous, best dude. And whenever, like, so there's been a number of times where like, we're working on a project, but it's not financed yet. So okay. we don't have an office and he has an office in Hollywood and he'll let us, actually oh. we're working out of it this week. Oh, sick. And uh, so we, we, we'd be, I was working on where the wild things are. And initially I wanted to have all the faces done in camera, like with animatronics and puppeteered faces. And he would just come by and look at what we're doing. He's like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Can't do that. <laughs> you do not want to get like have these 150 pound heads with animatronics in it. And you're gonna be, you're gonna be uh, after the first day of shooting. You're gonna be a month behind schedule. Wow. And and he basically he, there's a drawing. He's like he you know he drew. He's like uh, of, of a wild thing. He's like yeah. suit and point and, and and then the face was CG. You know he's like CG with an arrow and and suit to the suit. And at first I was like, no, we got to do it in camera. Yeah. And then like, sure enough, like cut to six months later, we're in Australia and we're like ripping all the animatronics out of the faces. Oh, really? And oh, so you went, actually started with started, animatronics? We started going down that road. We didn't shoot, but okay. we were in pre-production oh. and they couldn't move. It was everything Fincher said, right. too heavy, da, 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 da. Wow. And um, so we ripped it all out and just like, okay, yeah, he was right. We were going to the so face. So did you have some type of green screen with dots? Or no, better little, than no? that, we had we had the face finished really beautifully furred and, oh. you know, and the eyes wet, the nose wet, okay. and then they would the the, the basically we, they manipulated that in post. They'd create the three D model that would uh, map to that face and then manipulate that wow. that skin. Wow. So we'd use the skin, and I think then we'd put CG eyes in and okay. maybe CG lips, and uh, and maybe patched the fur. If it's, sometimes if you you know if you it's like in Photoshop, you stretch it, you could see mm, the fur stretching. Yeah. Okay, and so then we patch that and. God, yeah. I mean, even that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. There's, There's a lot, a lot of work. Like, yeah, we 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 have like I think ten months or. 10 or 12 months of visual effects and oh for the last gosh. like four or five months we moved to London me and my friend Eric who's in oh. Brennan who I talked about who had wow. the same bands as me oh, yeah. and my producer Vince three of us moved to London oh, and we, uh, we ran into you in the, uh, on the four star trip yeah. yeah that was so fun yeah. I came yeah really? that was so fun because we were like that movie just took so long it took like five years between writing it oh. like two years of writing it and getting it made and, da, da, da. and so like five years but towards the end like I was like so stir crazy and we were in this post-production facility in London in a dark room looking at shot of you know, looking at like we had 1500 shots and going through them frame by frame and like oh there his eyebrows he looks confused not scared or wow. <laughs> whatever it was and like bring the eyebrows maybe he needs a little wrinkle here right. to show confusion and oh um, whatever it was and so I was going crazy, and then these guys were on the four-star trip, and we. Uh, you came and met us in uh, Berlin too. Yeah, yeah, because then they were, they left. They, they so I skated with them in London, and I was like, it was so fun. I it was bet. like, uh, and Mark was over there, oh, and sick. Uh, Rick Howard, Mark, Mark Gonzalez, yeah. and um, and pro- probably Brian Anderson, yep. um, Costin. Pretty much everyone. Every, yeah, yeah, whole yeah. four-star wow. team, Max. Max J. Must have been a good and, little release. Of, yeah, and then of and then, I, like, and, then yeah. they were, they went to Germany. I was like, I want to go to Germany. So then I just got on a plane and I Sick. took a three day weekend. 